Hello, grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Mike Salmon here from Harvest Christian Fellowship. I pray everyone is having a good morning. So, um, there are a few things that are changing in uh, in our state. Uh, com- uh, businesses are opening, things like that. Um, so, if you are a Harvest Christian Fellowship member, uh, family, acquaintance, or someone who attends Harvest, um, we're going to continue to uh, remind you to, to uh, be vigilant um, and uh, to make sure that you remember that um, you know, the things that are going on in our state or the thing, the businesses that are opening and the people that you're conversing to please make, please make sure that you are, uh, washing your hands, sanitizing, keeping yourself, um, you know, uh, cautious of the things that are going around. Um, and let me just say this, uh, not because I want to put any fear or anything upon you. Uh, I just want to make sure that those who do come to harvest who are, uh, least or more susceptible, uh, to this type of sickness um, aren't getting infected or getting receive you know receiving this by another member of harvest so we make sure that we uh, you know keep ourselves um, you know sanitize watch ourselves and if we have any symptoms uh, to uh, to not come to church but to rather give us a call let us pray for you remember we are still God's church okay we are still God's church and and we want to be there uh, doing what God calls us to do so this doesn't give us an excuse just to kind of like to be passive but we are to be aggressive god is going to deal with this and he's going to take care of this um he has a purpose and a reason why things happen the way they happen but it is what it is meanwhile uh today what i like to do um is uh, just again remind you uh that things are changing and life does change but god is uh god is still in control so the scriptures i pulled up here um i want to bring to you uh this this morning talks about change um, we are to remember in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. And, and this is something that when we look at in our life uh, as, as believers in Jesus Christ, we're seeing the changes that are happening in this world. But you need to remember that um, everything that happens for us or in this world is is. God's ordained purpose. He knows what he's doing. And not only that does he know what he's doing, but the Bible says he knows the plans that he has for you and for me personally. So not only is the world changing, but God has specific plans for you and for me. Uh, The other day, my dad and I were on the boat and we're, we're talking about Israel and we're talking about God and how God was so merciful to Israel and, and how God just kind of, um, allowed Israel, even when Israel sinned, God like surpassed the, the thing, the thoughts of Israel. As we were talking about that, I, I said to my dad, I said, you know, not only, not only is Israel the way uh, that God was so compassionate and merciful to the Jewish people, I said, but think about the world. God allowed the world to continue and it's an idolatry and it's uh, uh, blasphemies and he didn't destroy the world and he could have destroyed the world, but he didn't, he didn't destroy the world. And I thought to myself, I said, dad, I mean, man, this is this. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a this is a God that that loves humanity. I mean, again, he loves his the Jewish people. He loves the people of God, but he loves humanity in the sense that he did not destroy it. So this same God who overlooked the sins of Israel, it overlooked the sins of the world, looks at the love that he has for you and for me, and he says, "These are plans. I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you. To plans to give you hope." in the future so while times change while the things change in our life remember that god has specific plans for his people for you and for me and that god is in control so this morning i want to encourage you with this i want to remind you that he has the plans he knows what he's doing and as we go through these weeks and we talk about different scriptures and change i got i got about 13 14 texts that pulled up or that was pulled up and and uh, that talk about change and things like that. We're going to go through these as we study through it. Just remember the plans that he has for you is good. And he loves you and he wants to prosper you. And remember, he's in control. Okay? So put your trust and your hope in him. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. May he be with you. Let me give, let me pray with you. Father, we pray for a hedge of protection around our lives, around our family, around our homes. That you protect us and guide us. That we are reminded that you have a plan for us and that it is good, that you are good, and your mercy endures forever. You are Yahweh Elohim. You are our Savior. You've given us your Son, Yeshua Mashiach, to die on the cross for our sins. And Father God, this morning we seek your face, and we remember that you love us, and that we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
Christ be with you, and I hope to see you soon. Again, Pastor Mike Salmon from Harvest Christian Fellowship.